The Summer Academy for Advancing Deaf and Hard of Hearing and Computing brings high school and college students together for nine weeks to explore careers in computing. Students take courses in computer programming and animation and learn from deaf and hard of hearing computer professionals. During this video, these role models give their perspectives on careers in computing. Part of the reason I chose computer science is because I had actually uh, opened a newspaper and I looked at the job market. I saw all of the computer jobs, software engineer, programmer, systems engineer, all of those kinds of things. There were so many page after page after page after those types of jobs. So that got me thinking, I need to get involved in computer science. I'm in VRS, Video Relay. Um, there's CSD VRS, there's Sorensen VRS, there's a variety of different VRSs that are out there. And also software companies, like for example Microsoft, which is in your backyard. There's a variety of deaf people that already work there. There's software engineers, programmers, and just, it runs the gambit. So originally, I got an internship, and over the last several months, um, my boss saw my abilities in programming and wanted me to then focus and specialize in that area. So then offered me to be an applications development system analyst. Oftentimes with the video relay operators, you, know, you have a customer that clicks in, and you know, once the call is initiated, the clock starts. It's a very, very clear information. You can see the time that, that the call started, when it ended, how many total minutes, who processed it. All of that information was readily available and very well detailed, and that's what I developed. I saw myself as being in the field of psychology or law. I was never really good with math or numbers or with science. So I had the idea set in my head that computing wasn't something for me. I never thought that I would be in this kind of work, honestly. And then I got into group health in Spokane, and I started working in the human resources office there. So I worked with a database administrator, and I was aiding and doing a variety of things, and I got fascinated with that, and I really got into database work. And also I liked how it worked with human resources, like those collaborations, like benefits management, uh, how people manage a variety of different healthcare insurances and medical insurances. I'm a senior measurement consultant, and what that means is I work mostly with uh, the senior leadership, trying to figure out how to measure the success of our business. Now the key part of my job is I work a lot in collaboration with our development group. So this is a dashboard where we collect a variety of different measures into one tool and we can see right now how we're doing. So this is the way that we monitor our organizational function. Are we moving in the right direction? Are we meeting our targets? You know, we want to see the performance continue to rise. Or if it's something that we want to decrease, are we seeing the decrease? Now with President Obama in the White House, he's monitoring group health and watching our progress and how we could be a good model for preventative care to increase the health cost of health care for the future for many people. So we're very excited at this time to be working at group, group health. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about how I knew programming was my thing. The most important thing that I think that I need to tell you is it's not something that you should be doing for the money or the ease of communication. Those are both good reasons, but you need to listen to your gut and know that you really love working with programming and the challenge and, and the stimulation you get. You really need to, at the end of the day, enjoy your job. Nothing else ever attracted my attention like computers did. So I always knew that at some point in my future it was, it was what I wanted to work with. And then through college, that was when I started to learn, you know, with computer science and realizing more that I could communicate with hearing people on such an equal platform as, as opposed to other majors. The communication access was there. Okay, so I've been at Viable for two and a half years, but that's not the only experience I've had. I worked as, at Microsoft. I was a debugger. I, you know, heard some things in the community about Viable and how it was a company with all deaf engineers and it's two students from Gallaudet who uh, were interested in the industry and they wanted to develop a video phone system. And I was actually the 20th person hired and I was hired as an engineer. I'm one of the four people on the team who developed this. 
Our goal is to show how much fun it is to have a business and to show the difference between, you know, we work for big corporations and uh, the communication is always there. The three of us, um, we have that communication fluency and it makes a big difference. Brendan works for Amazon, Chris works for Microsoft, and I work for Google. Those are our day jobs. Our strengths and weaknesses, that's pretty much it. Our, I'm a software engineer, more of a back-end server type guy. And also, into the mobile. He's the front end engineer and the software engineer. Okay, so basically, I just want to give you some ideas of how this all started. Uh, the both of us lived in Seattle for the past four or five years. And we, we knew that we really wanted to start a company. We couldn't decide you know, what we would do. I would say, Greg, you do it, you do it, you do it. We'd go back and forth. That, that whole little interchange right there. So, and then uh, Brendan finally moved to Seattle, so we had him do it, <laughs> the poor sap. <laughs> so that's basically how we started. We met at DPHH one night, Deaf Professional Happy Hour, and we decided to build a website for DPHH here in Seattle because they didn't have one. And so um, we felt that, that we had a, a good dynamic, a good situation as a team, so we thought, why don't we go ahead and start up a company for fun, doing things that we want to do. We wanted a website where we could find captioned movies because it's hard for deaf people to find where a movie might be captioned. It, it was so spread out through different websites. We wanted to develop one website where you could find all the information within one site. I found a website. Some guy from Michigan um, went ahead and captioned various trailers, which I said, hey, why don't we put this on one site? Maybe find out what time that movie's playing in a given area. So that's how Caption Fish started. And this is actually a big hit for us. Most of our traffic is from this. Because we put it on Facebook and Twitter. We told everybody we have the trailer for the movie this week. And everybody went to Caption Fish to watch the trailer. Well, Facebook was really well. And when we launched, within a month, we were up to, I think, 500 users. 500 then all the way up to, we're now to over 1,700 users at Facebook. I mean, it blows my mind, and it blows everybody's mind about how fast we're growing. We're still the, the power of the world Though we're not earning any revenue from Caption Fish, uh, what it did was uh, put us on the map. Uh, it put Def Code out there, it put our name out there, and we have a reputation for creating high quality products. People were drawn to us and could see what Def Code did and what we produced and they would think of us for future projects as a result of that. Well, we do have a plan to, like you said, iPhone game, we're hoping to sell that. Um, Caption Fish, we are hoping to get sponsors for that and all that, so that's our plan to make money. It boils down to what we love to do, really, at the point we try to make a quick buck. And one other thing that we try to do uh, is try to find our niche. You know, if we find something that takes us somewhere, we'll follow it. But if not, that's okay, because we still have our day jobs. Some people are afraid of computer science, of the challenge that it presents. And they're trying to decide if they could do it, and maybe I wouldn't be successful in that job. And I want to let them know they can do it. They can major in computer sciences, and they can get involved in that field for the future. If you're good with your computer science skills, and you have good people skills, you will go far. So be open to collaboration and sharing ideas with other people. Do it and have fun. <laughs>